We are at day 11 and we are going to be looking at saw. So one of the things that I see with saw, I see saw, is that there is a disconnect through the, um, the pathways of the body and a, um, what do I want to say? Like, a there isn't even energy as well. Sometimes it's like there's a lot of really like trying to push through the upper body. So I'd like to introduce a very early developmental pattern and it is called navel radiation. And we could also call it core to distal. So I'm gonna stand up and move back. So we have our navel and then a pathway to the head, a pathway to the tail, pathways out through the arms and pathways through the legs. So in this pattern, our head and our tail our limbs and developmentally our head and our tail are limbs. This pattern underlies the connections of our limbs to center, to each other. Yeah, so it's a really um, important pattern and I think it's a game changer for a lot of things. In saw, we tend to, tend to get really upper body dominant, right? So this is a great way to practice. Is the flow of energy even through all of my limbs? Now, we could do a whole workshop on navel radiating patterns. So you just got just an idea, okay? Um, lots of somatic work we can do with that. So, but just for this, just, you know, Try that out, like to feel how your limbs connect through your center and to see how the energy is. Now, in saw, uh, a lot of people have, you know, tightness in, in their back body, lots of different reasons. And so we want to make sure that we are setting ourselves up so that our spine can have freedom. If we are in a position where we're already pulled back, we're putting a lot of tensioning into our back, into our spinal cord, into our nervous system. So that's not gonna get us anywhere. That's gonna get us like working way too hard with not a lot of results. So go ahead and sit up on something. I have a little moon box, I'm in my studio. And then we have to have a conversation about the legs. So I am someone with hyperextended legs. So if, my, if I bring my legs down here and I wanna go forwards, it's really hard for me to control these. They're gonna to wanna to drop down or I feel like I have to like hold them. And remember what we were talking about with pathways of energy, right? Now, now it's kind of getting backed up, back into me. So, if we sit up on something, and you can do saw in a chair, you can do saw standing. So there's no limits. <laughs> you can saw anywhere. So I'm taking some blankets. You could use, um, you know, mats, and I'm bringing the ground up to me. Now, this is very helpful for me to keep the um, open, even joint space in my knees that I need in order for that energy to flow through. So, remembering our starfish, okay? So can you find from your navel to your head and your, your navel to your tail, even? Can you find your navel down through your, you know, lower quadrant, right and left, even? And can you find the same with your arms? Now, you want to go back, if you didn't watch it, you want to go back and watch Spine Stretch Forward where I talk about the flexion in, in order to find the reach out, okay? If we are ignoring this flexion, and when I say flexion, I mean like physiological flexion, the whole body, if we are ignoring that, then we're, this is what I see a lot, of, like, uh, uh, yeah? And that's really hard on your back. So, and we're, we're doing this because we want to open the back. 
So we're gonna rotate, I'll go towards you first. So let's just start rotation. Let's get really clear with the fact that we're rotating through our center. Your hips don't need to move, your legs don't need to move because we are moving through the spine, right through the center. Now we, we get into some interesting things with the arms because they've got a lot of movement, right? So see if you can keep the pathways even from your navel to your hands. So one doesn't do more. Even. Even. Very aware of front and back. A lot of times we do a lot of back, right? Get the purse in the back seat. So finding this rotation. Now we're going to rotate over. Two, I'm doing my left leg, my right arm. And you don't have to do a big reach over if that is going to put a kink in the pathway, like a kink in a hose. You can have your arm more open because we want everything to be relational to the center. And then this arm is going to spiral because that creates more rotation. So we're going to go ahead and rotate over start this spiral through your center. So as you're going down, you're actually spiraling more. Your upper back, your thoracic spine rotates, yeah? Rotates more. Why? Because your arms are attached to it. Cervical spine too. Why? Because your head's attached to it. This is how you go and get things in the world, yeah? So we don't just do arms we want to keep the spiral sides, keep the spiral around the center. And then the further up you go, there's more ability to spiral. So you might be like, oh, now I take this hand and it's right over here. And then we have this hand up because it is helping this side. Yeah, it's helping this side. And then we can turn our head because we want to spiral all the way through. Now we can come up, we could do a little pulsing here, and what's gonna initiate this? We'll pick a limb, and then make sure you follow through to the navel. Find those pathways. And then return back up, and back to the center. Let's go to the other side. We spiral through the middle. Check your pathways, head, tail, arms, legs. And then as you go over, you're continuing this spiral through your spine. So it is a rotation and a flex. And then you keep going, the pinky finger lifts, and you reach, and returning up, and back to the center. We could always go faster, rotate, but remember, if we don't have the integration and we don't have the connections, why go faster? Slow it down and really get juicy with it, yeah? Here we go, let's do one more to the other side. Come on, back up, woo! And we rest. And we had the corkscrew before this, so did you notice that in corkscrew, the lower body is free? And the upper body is, you know, grounded, it's still rotating. And then in our saw, it's the upper body that's really moving through space and the lower body that's grounding. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for joining me.